I'm a computer scientist, um, a technologist, and uh, someone who cares deeply about America. How did you feel when you found out that Facebook had hired a PR firm that was telling reporters that the group that you funded was actually funded by George Soros? Um, well, I wasn't surprised because he's just like low-hanging fruit in that regard. It was just a, a placeholder for yeah. some scary Jew in the world who's, you know, participating in the, in the scary Jews running the world. This is my little little uh, professional man cave. This is um, really the only original art that I've ever purchased of significance. This was an Andy Warhol uh, print of the ad campaign. How much does a Warhol cost? At the time I bought it was like in the like $80,000 range. Magerman made his fortune working for a quantitative hedge fund. He used some of that money to start Freedom from Facebook after learning of the Cambridge Analytica revelations in March. I was inspired by the ease with which they did what they did and the likelihood that other people were doing it without being detected. Freedom from Facebook is a media campaign intended to inform the public about the dangers that Facebook uh, creates in society based on the technology that is built into it and the technology that can be built around it. If people want to be you know, enslaved by uh, technology because they get benefit out of it, they can make that choice um, as an informed choice. We welcome everyone to this morning's hearing on Facebook, Google, and Twitter, examining the content filtering practices of social media giants. In an ironic twist, even as Facebook was paying for work that's now being criticized as anti-Semitic, it was also flagging Magerman's group to the Anti-Defamation League. That's because of a sign protesters held up when a Facebook executive testified in July before the House Judiciary Committee. They called it anti-Semitic because there were protesters in a, in a congressional hearing that held up signs that had Mark and Cheryl, who are both Jewish, mm -hmm. their faces on an octopus, which the ADL said is a historically anti-Semitic trope. But it's not. It's historically an anti-monopoly trope. And that was the design behind it. What do you make of the fact that at, in one way, they were telling reporters that your group was funded by George Soros. And then on the other hand, they were calling up the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, and having them put out a statement saying that your, your pictures were anti-Semitic. They're just benefiting from the same Facebook group bubble, thought bubbles, that they create that allow their platform to be so valuable to political groups and to advertisers. And that's the danger of Facebook is that there can be simultaneously contradictory messages and Facebook can be configured to control which message goes to which person so you don't get the full picture of the world. So you, unlike most Americans, uh, don't use technology for an extended period of time every week. Mm -hmm. So has that impacted or informed your views on how technology works in society? Right, well, so I, I for 25 hours on Shabbat, on, on, the, on the Sabbath, I don't use among other things, I don't use technology. I would love for people to be freed from this um, existence of being attached to um, technology the other six days of the week, not just on, on, on Friday night and Saturday, because I think that humanity is better off being a little bit less efficient, but a little bit more civil. Are you going to put more money into freedom from Facebook? Um, I don't necessarily want to. I mean, I, I think Why that... Not? I thought it was a public service. You know, initially I gave them a budget and it was roughly half a million dollars and they pretty much spent that. And um, I'm happy with the outcome. <laughs>